here is the piston and cylinder that we just casted. The piston looks really great. It is definitely of higher quality than the last time I casted this piston. The resin burned out very nicely and the finish is fairly good and it's definitely better than the last time. Like I said, the piston head finished and cleaned up really nicely. In general, the piston is usable, I would say. So this will probably be the piston I will put into the first test of the engine. The cylinder also looks really great and the finish is probably the best finish I've yet to see on any of my casts, specifically on the cooling fins. It looks like a professional finish just straight out of the cast with no finishing on the fins. They're really great. A few issues to point out with this is that the density of cooling fins was too high and some of the spaces in between got filled in with metal. It clearly, uh, there was some of the investment hardened investment that broke off and sat at the bottom of the mold and that's what this is down here. So I just have to work on removing some of these fins so that they are uh, castable and uh, just trying to be more careful with my mold to try to reduce the possibility of anything breaking. Also the cooling, the not the cooling, the, the fuel inlets down here, the two holes did not cast fully. Uh, those the, the investment that filled up those cavities also probably broke off at some point. So that's another area that I need to work on. Uh, but I think with a few more casts, I will be able to make this and have it be functional with all of the features I need it to have. But the face cleaned up really nicely after sanding it. I would intend to lap the surfaces between the crankcase and the cylinder. Uh, but as of now, the finish is really great, really smooth. The clips to hold on to the Hall effect sensor are right here. They're also on this model. You can see the magnet on the flywheel there. And then the Hall effect sensor has to sit right above the magnet. And I designed these clips to be integrated into the cylinder. And they actually cast in really well, surprisingly, considering how small these features are. And they do work. The... The sensor clips in very nicely and uh, that will hopefully work well. Hopefully the temperatures of the cylinder aren't an issue for the sensor wire, but we will see when that time comes. The exhaust port casted well, unlike the, the inlets, but uh, apart from that, everything's great. I tapped the top, as you can see, it's threaded and I can replace or put on the spark plug from our plastic model. And we can see that it does fit very nicely. The tap worked well and it sits very tightly on there. But this is pretty much a really great first step in the manufacturing process of the whole engine. These parts look really, really great. And I was expecting to have to make them a few times. Nothing works well the first time or not all the time at least. And I was expecting to have to make a few iterations, but I'm actually really happy and surprised with how well this turned out for the first time. A lot of the features did cast well. The surface finish is great, specifically on the cylinder. The piston is also great. In general, I'm really happy with this. So I'm gonna to continue to work on this, improve the design, remove some of the cooling fins, just so I can make this a more castable part. But once I've done that, I will cast this again before I move on to casting other parts of the engine, like the crankcase housing and the carburetor and everything else. But for now, this is it. So. I am very happy with it and I will keep working. This is Levi Sheridan. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.